Is Beyonce okay? In today's video, we're going to be reacting to a TikTok about Beyonce and what's been going on with her and what's been going on in her music videos or what was going on at the time that no one noticed. So without further more to say, like, share, comment, and subscribe. Become part of the crazy conspiracy team. Turn on your bell post notifications so that you can be notified every time I drop a video. Let's get into this. So... First and foremost, before I start too, I just want to say that this video is coming from a girl named Phoebe Daniels on TikTok. So if you want to go look it up, you can. That is her TikTok. Okay, yeah. I can see how it looks like she's on some kind of space cake. But I did say that. I, I did see that clip when she was at a basketball game with Jay-Z. She was like rocking back and forth, staring off into the air like... And I don't know, I kind of thought, like, I do that sometimes. Sometimes I'll be, like, in public and I'll just be staring and rocking back and forth. Like, I don't know. Others think that she was probably in some type of mind control. And or she was possessed or something. I don't know. When I first saw it, I'm just like, well, I do that too. I sway back and forth staring into space. Um, it's normal. But I don't know, some people seem to think that it's something more. I don't know, and Jay-Z did look uncomfortable. He kind of was like looking her way, but not at her, but you could tell he was looking at her in the corner of his eye. It kind of seemed like that's what he was doing. He looked very uncomfortable, so that's really why I'm kind of second guessing it because he did look a little uncomfortable, you know? And if it was just like a normal staring into space, swaying back and forth, he would have just been like, snap out of it. But he looked uncomfortable. He did not try to get her to stop at all. He looked very uncomfortable. But anyways, let's let's continue. I'd say that I had more on Beyonce, so let's go. So it's not really news to anyone that this nearly two minute intro to the visual album Lemonade back in 2016 is without a doubt extremely bizarre. I can't show the full thing here because it's just too long, but here's a little bit for context sake. I threw myself into a volcano, I drank the blood and drank the wine. I sat alone and begged and bent at the waist for God. I crossed myself and thought, just watching this that little part where she went like she was doing a bunch of stuff in the water just now looks kind of demonic and I did see this and I kind of figured it was weird like if I'm putting a lot of blank spaces in here just know I don't want to get copyrighted so that's how I avoid getting copyrighted so I just wanted to stop it here and let y'all know I saw the devil I grew thick and skin on my feet I bathed in bleach and plugged my mitzies with pages from the holy book. Huh? Okay, so there's that one. Okay. First, she said she saw the devil, and I'm no stranger to this. Like, I always felt a bad vibe when it came to Beyonce. I always said there was something off about her. Something about her just rubbed me the wrong way. I never liked a part of her for some reason and maybe this is the reason like I say all the time I feel like I can feel and read people and pictures anything I feel like I could read it but I never had a good feeling when it came to Beyonce and in today's time everybody is noticing this demonic stuff within her videos or within herself um, she has been acting really weird if you listen to her lyrics too she has lyrics that are really really weird like she she's 
hinting to us or trying to show us something or either she's trying to show us what she's going through maybe something evil this intro to this song is really weird i have seen it before but i've never clicked on it again to look into it but the second thing what was the second thing the holy bible so i don't know which one is real and which one is not but we have also learned in today's time that the bible is a lie i, I personally believe it i don't know where the real bible is i feel like the government is keeping the real history locked away somewhere. Um, I don't know where. A lot of people seem to think all the information is in the Pentagon. I don't know. Like, I, I believe it. I feel like the stuff that they tell us, the white Jesus, white God, um, the history, all these paintings of unknown white people, I think it's fake. And I don't like buying stuff like that because... I, I, I don't feel connected to it and now that I've been hearing that it's a lie the Bible is a lie and you have to have the right Bible you're praying to uh, rewritten history like now I know now I feel unconnected it was this dude on TikTok also and he has the real Bible I don't know what the real Bible is or what it is called but he supposedly got his hands on a copy and it looked kind of old and back in the day when like the Egyptian and it just looks like a, a real history book, you know, not a modern history book that can be easily printed, you know. And they also said that you have to be careful because although these artists, they say that they're praying to God, you never know which God they're talking about. So they call their God anything, you know, the devil. They call him everything. That's who they could be praying to and i was like that is so smart i never knew that i'm like when i was younger i'm like well she is praying to god like she's not into that stuff but then in today's time people are figuring it out i heard that they are praying to their god the evil god and i'm just like whoa that never crossed my mind at all it, it sounds about right to me it sounds the most accurate there was also this video that recently surfaced that was sort of going around and being analysed and I'd love to show it to you so check it out. So this is a screen recording someone got of her life. I do have to also give her her props. Beyonce is a really good dancer. Um, when I'm watching her perform on stage and she does her dances like it's really tough and hard, like she danced hard, really hard. But I think it's really dope because it just gives you butterflies and tingles in your body and it makes you want to just learn it and get up and do it. I love the way she dances, like I, I can't take that away from her. If it's one thing I have to give, it is props. Even if I don't like that person or I am not a fan of that person, I will always give props. <laughs> But I love the way she's dancing right here. It goes with the music. The music gives you chills. You know, you have that sick beat and she's just, you know, doing her rough dancing. I, I really like it. It's a vibe. Definitely a vibe. Face white welcoming Satan or whatever. Look at her evil eyes. Now wait for it. Okay, the tone of her face changed. Now, personally, when you really look at the demon face that appeared on hers when she was shaking her hair, it kind of just looks like her makeup. It kind of just looks like she's looking down. You can see her eyeliner, and it's just favoring a evil face. That's what I see. I don't know. It does look like a demonic face, but... It also looks like she's looking down too. Like, really look at this video. Like I said, if you want to watch this video, the girl's name is Phoebe Daniels on TikTok. It just looks like she's looking down, but it does resemble a demon face. But I don't think that's what it is. It could be. Anything is possible, especially with her and her husband. It just looks like her makeup and then you see the eyeliner and 
everything like if you look at her the way her makeup is done when she looks straight at the camera or the audience it looks like what is being shown through her hair that that's what i'm seeing i see kind of a bit of both so i understand where this girl's coming from but then again it just looks like beyonce looking down yeah, it just looks like she's looking down. She's making it go slow, too. It just looks like Bruh, she has... Are you seeing that? It just looks like she has glitter, like, or some white eyeliner anyway, right I here. I first saw that, I thought it was Photoshop, too. Like, it could easily be. Pretty much anybody could do that. You guys, and she even slowed it down for you. It just looked like Beyonce had a white eyeliner. And if you look, like, if you put white eyeliner right here and then, like, some dark makeup or eyeshadow right there and then you look down and put your, like, swing your hair... It will look like a face. That's all it looks like is makeup, her eyeshadow. I don't know. You guys let me know what you see. Because what I see is totally different, but I'm still not knocking her theory. It could be possible, but I just... I feel strongly that it's just makeup more than a demon face. So you guys let me know below. Do you think that it's a demon face or do you think that she's just looking down and it's her makeup? Let me know. But then I came across this and now I'm like a little bit scared. So this is a tiny little snippet of a music video EXO. Did you catch that? I'm gonna play it a few more times. I've never noticed this. I've seen this uh, video like twice or three times, maybe more. A long time ago I never noticed this little flash and that's because it's really quick they're slick with everything they do <sighs> a few more times dude That is so creepy. Like, what is the point? It could explain what she's singing about. You know, I was talked into believing that she was singing about something hitting the earth or <laughs> something like that. You know, that's what I got from this song along with others or that's what I heard about this song when it comes to other people's feelings. But maybe she's talking about evilness. I mean, this world is it's just going down. Like, I heard... Biden himself said that it was supposed to be a dark winter. After New Year's, January 1st, it started snowing really bad and it has not melted. Usually it melts by the second day, but it has not been melting and something weird is really going on. Maybe it's just an evil agenda that is going on and that's what Beyonce is talking about. They're going to make it a dark winter when they turn the lights out or whatever she said. Um... <laughs> Maybe that's what she's talking about. And then she has this random creature in her music video. Like, really, what is it for? What What's the purpose? Like, it has nothing to do with... Beyonce has always been creepy to me. I don't know. Like, I automatically believe the Kimberly Thompson girl. I know she's not crazy. I know that these people, these artists and people who are trying to speak out against this stuff is not crazy. They know and see what goes on and they're a part of it. They're trying to be forced to be a part of it, you know, so they're not crazy. Beyonce is really weird. She's really weird. What is that? Why would this need to be in the video? Okay, okay, I sharpened, sharpened the image so you could get a better view of it. Like, like I don't even want to look at this. What's I know. What? This hand symbol thingy. And, and in what world would a creature like this, with teeth like that, that, red eyes and a gaping hole for a nose, could this need to be featured in any music video? Like, we're all aware of subliminal messaging, especially music. That is so weird and creepy. She is correct about that. I don't want to see this either. This is scary. Like, what is wrong with Beyonce? Like, this is creepy. Do you guys see this? Like, wow, this is crazy. That is a disturbing creature, a disturbing view, a disturbing video. And is it even safe to watch music videos anymore? I was telling myself, 
Concerts are the new sacrificing. This, this is strange. It's, it's really scary. And I, I always say this, I feel like Beyonce is the biggest devil worshiper. And it's funny how this is in her music video. I, I really wanna know how people caught this. Especially music videos. But that's a bit extreme. Beyonce, are you okay, Joel? Okay, I'm scared now. Um, I'm sure it was just a statue. I think that's it. Statue, and I'm sure there's a perfectly lo Oops. logical explanation. Oh my god, uh, I don't want to explain for it. Okay, yeah. That is it for that. That was a creepy video. Like, I'm glad, I don't know, like, is it even safe to watch music videos and listen to music anymore? I don't know, like I'm an old soul. I kind of listen to the same old music. I don't really like the music today and maybe that's why. Maybe it's just giving certain people a bad vibe. Maybe certain people have souls that automatically sense negativity and evil. And I feel like that's how I am. I feel like I'm an old soul. I feel like I feel when there is negativity, when there is going to be negativity. Beyonce is really evil and weird. Like, I never really liked her, like her vibes. I'm not gonna lie, I did listen to her music when I was younger. I used to try to be like her when I was younger. And then I kind of fell off because I was just like, mm, I can't relate to her anymore, like. Mm. But that was scary, like this is, Probably one of my most scariest videos I've ever done. Like, I don't think I've ever done a scary video before. This just tops the cake. Like, what was that in her music video? That is so weird. And he was throwing up like a little weird symbol. I don't know what that is. It kind of looked like the Belfamet symbol. I don't know, but that that's weird. I will never listen to XO again. Never. And I just was having it in my head like some months ago that I wanted to hear that song, but not anymore. No, I'm not trying to get cursed or possessed by Beyonce, okay? You cannot kill my turtles, Beyonce. <laughs> no, okay? But anyways, that'll be it for today's video. That was really creepy, but I hope you guys enjoyed this. I'm going to be dropping bangers. I'm going to try my hardest. January is it i promise you so make sure to subscribe and become part of the crazy conspiracy team and i will be dropping bangers for y'all i promise like just random videos so stay tuned stay alert turn on your bell post notifications so that it can come to your phone when i upload alia black and white posted and you can come see my videos but anyways that'll be it for today's video please like share comment and subscribe and i will see you in my next video Bye.